What's up guys, it's your boy Rich. So I think it's fair to say that Vostok has a lot of watch fans. But up until now, I was familiar with the brand, but not familiar with the watches themselves. So, have I become another fan? Or did I waste my time? Let's go check out their Energia. Let's go. I'd like to thank Craig and Abraham with Vostok Europe for sponsoring this video. And the Energia is in 48 millimeters, 52 from lug to lug. 17 millimeters tall and with a 24 millimeter lug width and this is a big boy this is a beast or i should say beauty and a beast because on paper there's just no getting around its size dimensions but i think for those of us who are into Vostok watches know not to expect a petite type of watch we are buying the watch because of the real and genuine russian history behind this brand and Vostok just has a really enormous following. And while this is my first go around with Vostok, I get it. Uh, it but admittedly, 48 millimeters was far outside my comfort zone. It, it, I wasn't sure if I could get away with it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to wear a watch of this size until I started to spend time with it. As my first experience with Vostok watches, I really wasn't sure what to expect. I certainly was aware of the history and the brand. But again, because of the size dimensions, for me, it just went out the window. And I've been wearing this a lot with flannel shirts and jeans. I just think it feels right at home that way. And you can start to see the patina already forming on the bronze case. And this is uh, not a PVD or bronze plating. This is solid bronze. So while my version isn't bronze, they also have steel versions that are available in a blue dial, a black dial, and a gray dial. There's just so much to like about the Energia, starting with the dial. It just has some very useful complications that look fantastic to me. And uh, my, my favorite uh, complication and look is that 40-hour power reserve indicator at 12 o'clock. And it also has a 24-hour indicator uh, at 6 o'clock for a second time zone. And a, just a glimpse of the movement at 9 o'clock it is not too exaggerated where it screams cheap. It is just tastefully done, and we can see uh, the ruby right there. This is just a very striking dial with that texture around the dial. And, you know, this dial kind of sort of reminds me of the Seiko Presage with the texturing. Just It just comes together really nicely. Just a gorgeous-looking dial. This is a, also a very serious diver's watch. It has a screw-down crown, a water resistance at 300 meters, and it has a helium escape valve right there. All in all, this is just a very solidly uh, made watch. So just getting past the looks, uh, which is enough for most of us, this is just a very well-constructed watch. Uh, you can see these uh, lugs right here that kind of sort of look like a cog, just allows for a lot of flexibility uh, to the watch. Again, this is not something that uh, I would say is a determining factor for the watch, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Uh, and just it just it adds a little bit uh, unusual look to the watch that I think uh, works really nicely. So this is a genuine handmade strap in Italy, and I really like the turquoise contrast stitching that matches perfectly with the power reserve indicator and the uh, numbers on the 24-hour time zone. There is uh, the signed buckle, but it also comes with a secondary strap. So let's take a look at the presentation. <laughs> And here is the presentation that the uh, Energia comes in with this plastic case uh, and inside some information such as uh, Vostek Europe, a changing tool, the slot for the watch, and the extra silicone strap right here that I think uh, is going to look really nicely with it. So let's take a look here on the leather strap on the silicone leather silicone uh you know this that's actually a pretty tough choice uh i do often like the look of the silicone and i probably will change it out to this but i also think this leather strap is something that is also really cool so while i touched on our appreciation for the russian history behind the brand what exactly is an energy and why did they choose that name well i am not a russian historian but i did find it rather interesting what i learned from vostok's website so the Energia, it is the most powerful space launcher in history and universal space 
rocket system from 1976 to 1987 with a payload capacity of nearly 100 tons. The Energia furthered the development of space research in unprecedented ways. So again, I just find that to be a very fun and, and educational Russian historical fact that adds to the mystique of the watch. So I want to point out if you haven't already noticed, uh, if you're looking for the loom sticks. Well, this is not loom by the BGW-9 or Superluminova. The Energia uses tritium tubes. And without getting into the technical aspects of that, basically it is gas related and it doesn't need any recharging. Uh, and the lifespan of the tritium tubes is roughly 25 years. You know, I don't have any experience with having those replaced. I have heard that it is possible, but 25 years is a really long time and it doesn't need any recharging from the, from the light or any special uh, flashlight that you know we use to uh, to show the loom it just looms naturally very organically and to put that into pers perspective the emergency exit signs that we see in movie theaters for example those are lit by tritium tubes so you know it's just another fun fact of learning what other types of uh, glowing features use tritium tubes so that we're going to see here that adds to the really polished markers and sticks again it, it comes in it's just very handy so i have raved a lot uh, ab about the energia so if there is something that is a little bit at odds with just how solidly made this watch is and the nice details including the tritium tube it would have to be the crystal this is not a sapphire crystal it is what they call a k1 mineral crystal which is a step up from a regular mineral crystal but uh, a step below sapphire crystal you know for me it's a non-issue because i baby my watches so it's not likely to scratch and the hardened mineral will make it less scratch resistant it is also not domed in any way in fact here we're going to see that the crystal is somewhat recessed underneath there so that's going to give it some some more added protection uh there another feature about the watch is this solid case back which i really like it is tastefully done of the Energia rocket where more information is uh, available about the watch where it says automatic 22 joules water resistant 30 atm helium valve uh, this looks like it's a limited edition of 3000 and mine looks like to be number 174 of 3000 so you know the case back is very tastefully done everything about this watch for its size is tastefully done in my opinion so what is the movement that is powering the Energia? Well, it is powered by the Seiko Epson automatic movement. And the retail price is about $1,200. So if we're looking for or to add another Vostok to our collection and we're looking for uh, one that has really cool and useful complications, again, such as the power reserve or a second time zone, then I think this Energia is going to be a great option for us. It has certainly been a very fun experience for, for me and one that I actually learned to like something that is far outside my comfort zone when it comes to the size. Uh, so I think this is going to be a great option for us. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you the next time. So I think it's fair to say that a lot of us has heard of Bond. Bond's time. Bond to the grocery store in LA. <laughs> I am not reviewing food. I am reviewing Vostok. So I think it's fair to say that a lot of us has heard of Vostok.